Hi there guys, my name's Jacob and welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk to you about paying yourself first. I want to talk about how you do that and why it is so important that you do pay yourself first. So what is the term paying yourself first? What do I mean by that? Well, when payday rolls around and, the, and your money drops in your account, the first thing you need to be doing is paying yourself first. Now, what do we mean by that? Well, you need to be taking a slice of that money and putting it in a savings account or an investment account or just, if you're starting off, just putting it to one side into a different account and separating that money from money that is for bills and other spending. <clears throat> Separate it away from that so it's just purely savings. So it's not going to get caught up in anything else uh, in the same pot of money that you spend the reason for doing this is separating it on payday means for the rest of the month, you have not got to worry about it. You don't have to worry about saving. You've already saved on payday. So for the rest of the month, the money that is left in your account is your money. You don't have to think, oh, can I afford it? Can I not? Do I need to, you know, wait till the end of the month or should... No, you've already saved on day one. So for the rest of the month, for all intents and purposes, the rest of the money is yours to spend. Once you've paid your bills, you can go wild with it. And that is the idea of paying yourself first. And it's so crucial to do it because I think in life we all think, oh, I'll save some money at the end of the month. Whatever's left, I'll save it. Problem is, there's rarely anything ever left. We all see money in our account, think we can spend it because it's there. You can see it. You can access it. You see something you like, you buy it. I think we all do it. We're all guilty of it. However, if you've saved on payday, then you don't need to feel guilty about doing that. If you see something you want two weeks into the month, but you've already saved some money at the start of the month, then you can guilt-free go and buy that thing if you can afford it. And that is the beauty of paying yourself first. It takes away the stress later in the month. Uh, it takes away the worry of getting to the end of the month and there's no money left. And you think, oh, God, I haven't, I haven't managed to save anything this month. No, you do it at the start of the month. And I promise you, if you start this habit off, even if you start small, £10, £50, whatever you can afford, you won't... Initially, you might think you're going to miss this money. But if you make a habit of doing this every single month, before you know it, you won't miss this money. It's just gone at the start of the month. You don't even think about it. You'll treat it as, oh yeah, that's gone. The rest of the money is what you're used to. And before you know it, you'll make this number at the start of the month much bigger. Start off with something small that you know you can afford to go without. £50, £100, whatever you can afford. And before you know it, that number will be 150 200 300 Because you'll, you'll realise that you can go through the, the rest of the month once you've put money aside you can comfortably still go through the rest of the month. And like I say, the first month or two may be difficult as you adjust your spending and adjust your habits. But once you get used to it, like anything, you just make it work. You just become used to it. That's the new normal. And you make it work. Now, what I would do to start off with, if this is your first month of paying yourself first, I would, if you haven't already, I would open an easy access savings account Separate from your current account, that's the important part, you need to separate the money. And if you use an easy access savings account, then in the first couple of months of you getting used to paying yourself first and putting this money aside, if at any point you think you've put too much in there and something happens and you need to access this money, then if it's in an easy access savings account, you can penalty free just take that money out, withdraw it, uh, transfer it back to your normal account and spend it as, a, as you would. If you were to put it in a fixed savings account or an investment or something like that, the problem then is if something comes up uh, and you need that money back, you may have to pay a penalty or something like that where you'll be penalised. So to start off, the best thing to do is use an easy access savings account, um, put the money in there, do that for two, three, six months, you won't get the best savings rate to begin with because easy access doesn't, they don't give you the best savings uh, rates. But the most important thing to begin with is starting the habit. 
the habit of paying yourself first. Make this a habit like anything else that you do. It needs to be normal. It needs to be routine. Every single payday, the most important thing you do is pay yourself before you pay anyone else. You are important. Remember that. You're the most important person in your life. You need to look after you because ultimately nobody else will. So look after yourself on payday. Don't go crazy. Remember, you still got to pay your bills and you still want to do other things in the month. But pay yourself first. Put yourself at the top of your priority list. So move some money across on payday. For the rest of the month, you can know you have the peace of mind that money has already been saved for your future. You can spend as you would whatever's left till the next payday. And then the whole cycle starts again. The next payday, you pay yourself first and then keep it rolling. If you can keep this up, before you know it, you'll have a nice pot of money. And if by if at some point you realise that this is just normal, it's a part of your daily habits now that you can cope with paying yourself first a certain amount of money, that's the point where you can up the amount you do um, on the start of the month. You can increase it from that £50 you started with to £100 or, again, whatever you can afford. And at that point, that's where you could consider moving the money that you pay yourself first on the on that first payday. That's where you could move it from an easy access savings account, potentially to a fixed savings account so you can get a better interest rate. Or if you're the type of person who likes to invest in the stock market, then you could move that money into an investment account and start investing in the stock market. But like I say, initially to start this habit off and make it make sure it becomes a routine, I would just do it into an easy access savings account to begin with. Uh, you could have that alongside your current bank account provider or you could open it with a different provider, whatever uh, makes sense to you. If it makes sense to have it with a different provider because it's not so easy to access and that might help you mentally to make sure you don't touch it, then do that. If you're the type of person who you think you're disciplined enough to be able to open your banking app and to be able to see your current account and your savings account right underneath it and have the discipline not to go into it and dip into it, well then if you're that person, you do that. Do whatever works for you. But the most important thing is on the first day, once you have been paid, you pay yourself first. And I promise you it'll be worth it and you will thank yourself in the future. If you made it this far, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm on the road to a thousand followers. That is my goal uh, of this year. I'd like to reach it by the end of this year. Uh, so if you'd like to help me do that, like I say, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.